So Indy, under Herbie Simon in Indianapolis, probably served him to a large degree. Well, N not that he wasn't the one, but I'm saying Indy's a little less off the radar than being It, it was not a bad time. place to be. Yeah. And I think, by the way, he goes to L.A., the second biggest basketball brand in L.A. It's okay. Most of these guys, you know, very few of them want the circus. Yeah. They don't want to play for Ringling Super Brothers. Yeah. Hoops, girls, <laughs> pay me, and I'm out. Yeah, I mean, you can walk out of there now with, well, what's the max contract? I'm reading, like, six years, $194 million for guys. And for the record, many are not taking it, which is funny. If you and I collectively bargained for vacation time and never took it, right? <laughs> These guys collectively bargain for 190 and take 160 These agents are like bad poker players. They just leave money on the table. It's incredible how many stars are like, no, nah, I'd rather win. I don't want the money. That's what you're fighting for. Billionaires don't leave 60 large they no. don't leave it on the table. Not at all. Jerry doesn't leave 40 bucks on the table, Jerry Jones. <laughs> these NBA players, they walk away from these massive guaranteed deals. Societal pressure to win? I don't know. I wouldn't do it. Now, what do we, uh, I think people are jumping off uh, Golden State a little early because Same here. Thompson can come back. Listen, we used to think of hoops classically as the stilt down low, getting the ball and dunking, but those two are the best shooting tandem of guards I've ever seen in my life. Jerry West, Gale Goodrich in the 70s, yes. and these two. And I don't think it's that close. And, I, you know, I, I saw West more than Goodrich. I know Goodrich put up big numbers, but I don't remember him as well. So I'm just saying... There are nights I look at, I think, Clay Thompson's the clutch shot. <laughs> and yeah. then I think, what are you thinking? Because it seems to me Steph can get his shot and his score whenever right. he wants. But there are nights that Clay Thompson's just nails. You throw Draymond Green in. Kerr seems to be a very modern coach who knows how to handle people. No. I don't know who else you plug in, but I think they're still lethal. Smart generally wins. The Patriots dynasty is not just about Brady. It's about the architecture of the offensive line. They've never had a battle line in 19 years. Peyton Manning had battle lines. Drew Brees has had them. If you really look at the success of the Patriots, it's been all above the shoulders. They've never had multiple pro bowlers on the O-line. Some of the weakest wide receiving cores. They mm -hmm. always have back by committee. Golden State didn't win because of money. They won because they got Clay Thompson, uh, Draymond in the second round. Steph's first contract, they paid him nothing. Mm -hmm. They got, uh, I mean, there were two point guards drafted before Steph. What made the dynasty was they didn't pay any of these guys. And then all of a sudden, so Durant could come over, we'll pay you. It, it's, 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 this like, listen, for 30 years, Oakland was the NBA abyss. I grew up with like Al Adels, Clifford Ray, Rick Barry, Jeff Mullen, right? Right? We all, we, the you, Oakland Oaks. That's right. So they were great. Then it was the abyss for 30 years. Then all these smart guys, Laka, Bob Myers, Kirk yeah. came in, Mark Jackson to some degree. You win upstairs. It's not just the Patriots have never been the best collection of football players ever. Yeah. I remember going back with them to Franklin Muley. Remember the owner? Yes, for, yes, uh, yes. And then uh, Bruce Hale was the cat who played uh, coach Rick Berry in the ABA over at the Oakland Oaks and Barry Bird Murray was pre daughter. Bird. Yeah. Rick Barry was pre-Bird. Oh. He was Bird before the His NBA was big was on TV. Beautiful man, incredible player. And I think, in an odd way, because the Stilts, the worst free throw shooter I ever saw, and he went underhand. Barry went underhand with the top spin and was at 94 percent for his career. By the way, something crazy like that. Uh, they will tell you that underhand free throws are the way you're supposed to shoot them. Yeah. But there is a sense that it's too finesse. It's not alpha, so players won't do it. Hmm. So what's interesting about Rick Barry is Rick Barry was like, listen, I'm just more accurate. Rick was so contrarian to the marketplace. He's like, I, I, I don't care if it makes me look. He's a copy is for closers, man. He that, was a closer. That's all he was. He yeah. was bird before bird. He didn't care what people thought. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.